So, hey everyone, um, as you can tell from the title, this is a little bit more of a different video. Today I'm just showing you how to make one part of the bee instead of the entire bee. Obviously, I have already remade the bee tutorial, so hopefully it's better than the previous one, my first ever video, which was the bee video. And also, as you can tell, I have switched the wings up. Let me go grab a different bee. So this is another bee I made. It's the a, a zombie version of the bee I made. And the wings are really like scrunched up and I don't like how that looks. Um, so, I mean, it's cute, but I do like the bigger wing. Um, I don't really know where I got the idea for this. I kind of just started making a Christmas bee and I thought, well, maybe the wings would look a little bit different, better, I mean, a little bit better in a different way. Um, so I remade the wings and I really like how they turned out much more than this one. So I'm just gonna be redoing the wings and I'm just basically gonna be showing you how to remake the wings. I know a lot of you have already probably made my bee and you don't really wanna, you know, remake the whole thing or take the whole thing apart and remake the wings. But if you are planning on making another bee or if you haven't made a bee yet and um, you want to make the wings a little bit more bigger and a little bit more better in my opinion, um, well then, ta-da. But also, I have made a playlist with all my bee tutorials, my mini bee, this bee, and the remake of the bee. And also, I'll be adding, I'll be adding to the playlist this wing tutorial if you want to make the bigger wing. Um, so, yeah, the playlist is just on YouTube and has all my tutorials for certain things. Okay, so um, we're going to be starting. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you how to make one in this video. Um, because I'm not necessarily making a whole other bee. Um, I might in the future, but yeah. So basically we're going to start off with a magic ring of six. And if you don't know how to do any of, oh, actually, no, never mind. I'm going to be showing you how to make all the stitches. So to make a magic ring, you're going to wrap a band around your hook two times. So one and two. Then you're going to take a band pull it through and reclaim onto your hook. Then you're gonna hold on to the cap band and pull this front band through the back band, just like that. You're gonna go back in to the cap band, grab another band, pull through, reclaim onto your hook and pull the front band through the back two bands. And basically, you're just going to repeat that until you have six stitches around your hook. So again, pull through a band, reclaim, pull through, go back into the cap band, and repeat. Okay, and you're just going to keep repeating that until we have six stitches all the way around. And I'm going to show you how to count your stitches when we're done. All right, so this is how you're gonna count your stitches. So this is one, and they're all like teardrop shapes. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and the one around your hook also counts, so that's a six. Now, um, I don't really have a C-clip or a stitch marker next to me at the moment, but in general, you are gonna put a C-clip or stitch marker around this stitch, and then you're gonna be doing for the next row, for the wings, we're going to be doing increases all the way around. And I'm going to show you what an increase is. So an increase is when you go into the stitch, um, reclaim it onto your hook, and pull this front stitch through the back two stitches. Oopsies. Oh, gosh. Sometimes um, when you're using like a little bit of like a shinier like band, like a jelly band, your stitches can sometimes get undone. So, okay. But I'm just going to pull it through. So that was a regular stitch. Now you have to do one more of those into that same stitch. And that's an increase. Two single crochets into one stitch. So now we're gonna do that again. And we're gonna repeat that six times around. So two, 
stitches into every stitch six times around. So this is number two, one stitch. This is our second one, so that's one increase. So now we have two increases. We're gonna go into the next stitch. Take two bands, pull one through at a time. One stitch, back in, two stitch. So now we have three increases. Go to the next stitch, grab another two bands, one stitch, two stitch. That was our fourth increase. Now we're doing that again. One stitch, two stitch. That was our fifth increase. Now this is our last increase, and then I'm gonna show you how to tie it off. So one stitch, and two stitch. Okay, so this should be what the wing looks like. Now we're gonna go into the next stitch, take a band and pull it through, reclaim onto your hook, and just pull a slip knot and pull it tight. So that's what's gonna tie the wing off. And now to attach it to the to the body, I'm not gonna show you to do that because I say how to do that with your wing that you make in the video, but you're just gonna pull through another slip knot band in the stitch right next to it. And then when you're ready to watch the real tutorial for the, the bee video, just don't make the wing in the video and make this wing instead and make two of them and then tie it on to where I say to tie it on to. And there you go, you have your wing. So yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial. But if you want to make this little bit more updated wing, then I would suggest doing that. And yeah, I hope this was easy enough to understand. Um, and appreciate all the guys, are you guys' support? I'm really hoping to get a thousand subscribers very soon. And yeah, I appreciate all of you that watch my videos. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.